Forget Glen Fittich, forget Glen Morangi. Take a swig of Amrut instead. Yes, you heard that right. Amrut Fusion, a domestic made single malt, has become one of the world's top three single malts. And it's made right at home, right near Bangalore. Here's a detailed report with Moksha Patra. If you thought the world's best whiskies are made here in the Scottish Isles, think again. How about here on the outskirts of Bangalore? Amrit Distillery, which makes a malt called Amrit Fusion, has been rated as the third best whisky in the world by leading whisky writer Jim Murray. He has tasted close to about 4,000 whiskies in the world. He brings out an annual edition of Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible and gives a score. He normally picks the best three of the world every year. The first place was a, a Sazerac Rye, a US, uh, it's an American whisky. Uh, the second was uh, a Scottish Isla, Ardbeg, Supernova, and third was Amrit Fusion. To get here, Amrit beat out big names like Glenn Fittich, Glenn Morangi, and Lago Woolen, to name a few. So here's how the product's made. Let's go to the ingredients first. 80% of the product that is the core of it comes from Indian barley, which is sourced from Punjab, Rajasthan and some parts of UP. Then 20% of it comes from what's called peated barley, which is made from peated smoke, which comes when peat is burnt. And this here is a sample of peat, which is sourced from Scotland. Amrit follows world standards in how it treats, distills and stores its whiskies. After spending four years in perfectly charred barrels, master blenders put it through the sensory test before deciding whether it can be married off or blended. And then finally, post marriage and maturation of three to six months, the product goes through normal filtration and is then ultimately bottled. What I do now is for you to evaluate. You take a snifter, see there is no smell there, and you pour a wee bit, that's good enough. You can just hold it for some time, okay. then you form a vapor. Right. So, and when you nose it, you always nose here on one nostril. Then you just take a wee bit, and you drink it, then pour it out. So you just feel it, this one, your mouth gets sensitized now. You literally have got to chew this. Okay, so you eat it instead You eat it. it, you don't drink this. You like to taste yes, it? Yes, please. What do you feel in it? Smooth, strong, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't believe me, hear it from the experts. It's got a perfect blend of bitter sweetness and it's got a lacquerous uh, sort of a taste. It's got an after chocolate uh, flavor. From the United States, North Carolina, where I, I enjoy a single malt, uh, Glen Fittich. This is as good. Up until now, Amrit's produced about 5,000 bottles for sale around the world. Now you can get it in India too, but only in Bangalore. The price, 2,000 rupees per bottle. Not bad for a world-class whiskey. In Bangalore, Mukshda Batra, NDTV Profit.